Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can keep OneDrive files online only. So if you guys want to learn how to do it, just follow the steps that I'm going to show you. As you can see guys, I'm right now on my desktop on my computer and this is how the homepage looks like. So right here, as you can see guys, the first thing that you need to do guys is open the file explorer. If you don't find this right here, just go to the start menu and then search for file explorer. Go ahead and open it and then you're going to be here in this window. Once you're here, in the left you're going to find all of these sections. Here you're going to find home, gallery and here you're going to find OneDrive. Go ahead and right click on it and then here as you can see guys you're going to find all of these options. Here you're going to find the option to copy it, expand it and so on. And here you're going to find the option to always keep it on this device, free of space and lastly right here you're going to find OneDrive. Go ahead and click on OneDrive and then here you're going to find the option to view it online. Here you're gonna find settings and lastly right here you're gonna find folder color so right now go ahead and click on settings and then you're gonna be right here once you're here first of all go to account go ahead and click on unlink this pc and then they're gonna ask you are you sure click on unlink accounts and then go to sync and backup and then once you're here the first thing that you need to do guys is go here to this option backup important pc folder to onedrive Backup your desktop documents and pictures folder to OneDrive so they're protected and available on other devices. Go ahead and click on manage backup and turn all of these options off and then click on save changes. After that, go ahead and right click again on the OneDrive folder, click on OneDrive and then click on view online. And then once you're here, you're going to find all of your online files and you can also click on add new to upload new files and folders. And right now, if you upload any files, they will only, uh, only be uh, available online. So this is it guys for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video.